What comes to mind when I think of artificial intelligence is a big machine processing all sorts of data all at once. And so this involves smaller data made into big data that's processed in a way that could either be used to assist in decision making or to make the decisions themselves. I think one of the biggest challenges associated with artificial intelligence is especially when it is used in cases that are vulnerable categories, such as when we use artificial intelligence in the criminal justice system. Um, this can be used to make a decision that is untransparent and that has really great ramifications on individuals' personal liberty. My key message to governments or to policymakers working on AI is that we should not be handing over these decision-making processes to vendors or to engineers that work at vendors. They're not elected officials. And we need to make sure that humans, again, are kept in the loop. Even if we're using a machine to help policymakers make decisions, it needs to be an assistance. It can't be definitive. It can't make the decision itself. And we need to make sure that there is oversight, there is accountability, and that there's a lot of uh, regular input into this process of machine learning. I think the UNESCO, as well as other international actors or international bodies, need to work together to establish standards to have member states of the United Nations and the private sector and civil society work together to implement these standards that respect human rights and that are reflected in domestic legislation as well. I think connecting those dots together are really important, and a body like the UNESCO would be able to do that.